rappelle que le, le poulet au poivron est une recette que faisait la grand-mère de Chiara. The chicken with pepper is a recipe that the Chiara's grandmother used to make. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't realize that. That's perfect. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's David Stark from Watcher Pass. Today I'm talking to Sebastian Laudenbach and Chiara Malta, the writers and directors of Chicken for Linda, which is coming to theaters throughout the U.S. in April and is first premiering in New York on April 5th, 2024. I'm going to talk to them right now. And while you're watching, if you can like and subscribe to this channel, that would be fantastic. It was about a lot. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining me today. I've got Sebastian Laudenbach and Chiara Malta, the writers and directors of Chicken for Linda, which is premiering in America throughout April. It is first premiering in New York on April 5th, 2024, and then coming to select theaters throughout April. It is a striking film. It has this beautiful, beautiful animation style, this wonderful uh, hand-painted look, and a very heartfelt message. I am excited to talk to you, so thanks so much for joining me. So... The first question, I, I've watched this film a couple times, and I think the moral of the story is that children ruin everything. Is that is that right? Is that what I should take away from this? Children ruin everything, you said? Yeah, children ruin everything. I don't think that les enfants ruin everything. Is that right? I don't know the question. I don't know the question. I think the moral of the story is that the children ruin everything. Is that right? No, the moral of the story is that the children are more intelligent and debrouillard than what we think. No, the real moral of the story is that children are more intelligent and they can <laughs> they have more wits than we give them credit for. Yes, for sure. No, I, that, that was a joke. First question, uh, probably humor didn't translate over, but no, it was a, it was a very heartfelt like. Elle uh, peut aussi tout casser. Hein? Si ils s'énervent, c'est des bêtes, c'est des bêtes sauvages. <laughs> they, they can also break everything when they get angry. Yeah. They can or, or curious, or curious. <laughs> so, uh, I, you know, I guess you were the, both the writers and the directors. Where did this story come from? It felt like it could be a very personal one. D'où venait l'histoire? Elle avait l'air d'être très personnelle. Mais on voulait faire un film qui parle aux enfants avec beaucoup plus de franchise que les films pour enfants ne font pas, sans filtre en fait. We wanted to speak to children more frankly than films usually do and without any filters. On voulait vraiment leur dédier un film avec une histoire qui puisse les toucher euh, vraiment. We wanted to dedicate a film to them with a story that could really move them. For sure. Ouais, en essayant de parler par exemple d'injustice, c'est quelque chose qui touche euh, les enfants de toute la planète parce qu'ils ne peuvent pas décider. For example, by speaking about uh, injustice, because that's something that touches every child on the planet because they can't make decisions. Et la mémoire aussi. And memory as well. Et puis quelque part en racontant leur potentiel. And also by speaking about their potential. Et en essayant de montrer aux enfants que les adultes sont plus, ne sont pas aussi adultes que l'on croit. And also to show, to show children that adults are not as adults as we think they are. <laughs> Et par ce biais-là, raconter une relation mère-fille authentique, vraie, où mm -hmm. la mère peut faire des erreurs aussi. And in this way, to uh, talk about a daughter, um, mother daughter relationship that was authentic where, um, and truthful, where the mother can also make mistakes. Yes, all very true. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, go ahead. No, uh, it's to say that the poulet au poivron is a recipe that was the grandmother of Chiara. The chicken with pepper is a recipe that the Chiara's grandmother used to make. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't realize that. That's perfect. <laughs> So, I was curious, was this film always set to be like a feature-length film, or did it start off as like a short or something? Where, you know, where was the, the nucleus of this movie? No, it has always been a project of long métrage. We l'a écrit il y a plusieurs années, and we l'a mis aussi dans un tiroir, parce qu'il n'était pas tout à fait prêt à être, on n'avait pas trouvé exactement le bon angle pour le, pour le concrétiser. It was also always supposed to be a full-length movie. We wrote it a few years ago. But we had to wait because we hadn't found we hadn't found the right angle to uh, make it. Parce qu'on voulait. Il, il a fallu que. Pardon. Vas-y. Bah, non, tu veux. Non, c'est que euh, quelque part c'est une histoire qui parle d'insoumission et donc il nous fallait euh, être insoumis aussi euh, dans l'approche euh, et productive et stylistique. It's a movie that's about um, being submerged. Uh, subser um. Subservient or sub. No, 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 the, the opposite. <laughs> uh, 
irreverent. irreverent. <laughs> we had to also be irreverent ourselves. Oh, that makes sense. Um, so, you know, what? one thing, the first thing that kind of like struck me was this like beautiful hand-painted art style. Where did that come from? Is that something you've done in the past or was that just a, a new experience for this film? No, il y avait... Euh, ouais, ouais, j'ai compris. Il y avait... Euh, euh, au moment où on voulait faire le film, on s'est dit qu'il fallait être insoumis, nous aussi, mais on ne savait pas encore comment. Donc ça, c'est le but. When we wanted to make the movie, we knew we had to be uh, subversive. That's the word I was looking for, but we didn't know how. Mais on voulait travailler avec une équipe pas trop grande, avec un film pas très cher et avec un jeu de comédien qui soit le plus réaliste possible pour libérer le dessin. We wanted to work with a, um, a not too big of a budget, not too big of a team. And, um, pardon, la dernière chose, c'était... Un son tellement réaliste qui pouvait libérer le dessin de la contrainte de la vraisemblance. Yeah, and a realistic sound that could liberate the, the drawing from constraints of um, likeliness. Et Sébastien, il venait d'une expérience que moi j'ai trouvée intéressante, euh, qui était celle d'un dessin pour son premier film, qui me semblait se préoccuper plus de mouvement, du mouvement que de la figure. So, Sébastien was coming from an experience for his first, his first movie where I felt that like he was more um, taking care of the movement than the actual uh, figure. Et donc l'idée c'était de faire un film avec la même liberté qu'on a en faisant un croquis. So, so the idea was to make a movie with the same freedom that we have when we make a sketch. Et du coup on a euh, demandé à l'équipe de dessiner euh, d'une certaine manière en essayant de, de libérer le dessin de tous les animateurs. We asked the team to uh, draw in a certain way, um, trying to liberate the drawing for all the animators. Ils ont pris à Sébastien le geste du dessin. They took from Sébastien the gesture of the drawing. The Et movement. donc, euh, tout le monde s'est mis à dessiner euh, comme ça, en s'appuyant sur le son réaliste. Everybody started to draw that way to, and um, based on the realistic sounds. Et euh, ces taches de couleur qui débordent, qui se comportent comme un enfant mal élevé. So these block of colors that go outside of the line that behave like a um, badly behaved child. <laughs> Donner de la joie au film. It gives uh, joy to the movie. Et délivrer les animateurs de préoccupations de la, de, de la, de la, um, du respect du modèle. So and then it freed the animators from the constraint of having to respect the model. Et de fait, les personnages changent de visage très souvent si on fait attention. So the characters, their, their faces change a lot if you pay attention. <laughs> Mais nous, ce qu'on disait, en tout cas, moi, venant du live, j'ai remarqué que mes meilleurs comédiens sont celles qui sont transfigurées par le jeu. On ne les reconnaît pas. Quand un comédien joue bien, on dit il était transfiguré, quoi. On ne le reconnaît pas. When coming from live action uh, movies, My best actors, actresses were always the ones that you don't recognize because they're just transfigured well by the fact of their acting. Et on voulait la même chose pour l'animation. We wanted the same thing for the animation. Very nice. En, And... en fait, on a souvent l'impression que l'animation justement fige les choses, ça les, ça les frise, et c'est ce qu'on voulait absolument éviter. We have the the impression that animation usually things more static, and that's what we wanted to. It to avoid. Yeah, and I love how it just kind of like some some of my favorite scenes are ones that aren't even like they're almost like impressionistic. Like I loved the scene when Linda was a baby and she just saw like essentially the splashes of colors for her parents. And then when one of those splashes of colors dropped off, I was like, that is such a poignant way to show it. And, I, and that's such a, like an imaginative way of like what a baby might see because they you know don't necessarily recognize everything, but they do kind of see things in their environment and recognize when something is missing. Vous savez, la mémoire fonctionne par des gros trous. On a des morceaux de mémoire. On n'a jamais une scène entière, du début à la fin. Memory functions a lot with holes. We never have a whole scene memorized from beginning to end. There's always holes in it. Et on voulait restituer cette sensation-là au début. And we wanted to uh, show that impression in the beginning. C'est un film de la mémoire au début. 
film about memory, especially in the beginning. Et on est intéressé par l'animation parce que justement, ça nous permet d'exprimer certaines choses avec des moyens qui sont très simples et qui sont purement visuels. D'où ce, ce point de couleur qui tombe. That's why we're interested in animation because it allows us to uh, talk about things that are that with very simple means to talk about things that are complex. Is that what you said, Sebastian? Ouais, ouais, et qui, ouais, qui sont profonds. Et donc, et ça, ça, l'animation nous. nous nous permet avec des moyens visuels de d'exprimer ça. With visuals and with visual simple means, we can express things that are complex and deep, more profound. Sure. And one thing you mentioned is that you wanted the animation to kind of match the real world sounds. Did you record audio or the like the the film before animating? Or oh wow. Ah ouais. Before, on a fait un... yeah. Il faut lui dire qu'on a fait un vrai donc, plateau sonore qui a duré beaucoup de semaines, comme on ferait dans un film. Euh, mm -hmm. Donc, il y a eu un, un tournage qui s'est fait léger, donc vite, mais il y a eu quatre semaines de tournage qu'on a fait avant, où on a été dans les lieux du film, on, on faisait la mise en scène, les acteurs étaient libres de bouger, euh, on voyait euh, euh, quatre en scène, quoi. A real, um, a real film set on location where the actors were free to move and there, there was actor direction as well and it was in the actual places where the movie take place, takes place. Avant que le dessin ne commence. Four, and it was four weeks before, before any drawing were made. Oh, wow. Donc les acteurs, ils ne devaient pas uh, doubler uh, des morts. Et c'est eux so, qui incarnaient les personnages. The actors didn't have to double dead people. They, they were the ones that were uh, making the, the characters alive. So you almost made two films, essentially. You made like a live action film and then you made the no, animated... No, because there were no camera, no, no camera on uh, this okay. first set, no camera. No, on voulait pas, on voulait absolument pas filmer ça parce qu'on voulait pas que le dessin soit soumis à la contrainte de la, de la rotoscopie, par exemple. On voulait pas que le dessin soit un calque. We didn't want said. to film the, the shoot with cameras because we didn't want the drawing to be uh, to be dependent on the how does it called roto rotoscopy rotoscopy. Et il faut lui dire qu'en prise de vue réelle, un film, on le fait quand on l'écrit, on l'aurait fait quand on le tourne, on l'aurait fait quand on le monte. A live action movie, you make it when you write it, you make it when you film it, and you make it when you edit it. It's like this, it's remade every time. Et nous, on voulait faire le film quand on l'écrivait, on voulait faire le film quand on le mettait en scène, on voulait refaire le film quand on le dessinait et le refaire. Donc, il y a une étape en plus, mais à chaque fois, on refaisait. Donc, on a fait cinq films. So, we, in animation, is one more step when you draw. So, like they wanted to make it when, when we wrote it, when we filmed it, when we recorded it, when we drew it, when we... Edit. Sorry, yeah. Hein? Et comme ça, on a fait cinq films, five movies. So oh, wow. <laughs> That's a lot of work. So you said that the audio took about four weeks to record. How long did it take to get the, you know, the animation in there going a hand-drawn style? Seems like it would take a lot longer, but then you gave the artist some freedom. So maybe that kind of like allowed them to work a little faster. How long did it take to get the actual animated film uh, complete? C'était yeah. assez rapide. Ça a pris deux ans, mais avec une toute petite équipe, seven people. Yeah. Took two weeks, but with a very small team, seven people. Wow. Et une personne à la déco avec un assistant. Enfin, jusqu'à un assistant. Une, qui faisait des recherches de matière. Et deux personnes à la déco. One person for the background, right? Le décor? Ouais. One, was, one assistant. That was doing it. That is, that is a lot of work. That is a, that is a labor of love. But the, you know, the, the results speak for themselves. It is just a, a striking, beautiful film. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Um, so I know we have limited time. I'm going to switch to very short questions about the film. I want to see how your personal experiences map to things in the film. You can feel free to skip any of them, but I try to keep them very light and answerable. Vous avez des questions courtes, mais uh, auxquelles vous pouvez répondre. Vous, êtes, vous pouvez ne pas y répondre si vous voulez. Mais okay. okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, first question. And I think Chiara apparently has already done this. Have you had chicken with peppers? Yep. Did vous avez déjà mangé du, du poulet au poivre Oui, quand j'étais enfant. Oui, Chiara, oui, quand elle était enfant. Est-ce que either of you have a childhood dish that you remember fondly? Est-ce que vous avez un de vous un, un plat d'enfance dont vous vous rappelez avec euh, avec Not euh... not not really. <laughs> It's too far. 
<laughs> Too many holes in your memory. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I remember uh, the spoiler. <laughs> Coachella is the chicken with peppers. Seems to have made, uh, made an impression on you. Um, have you ever killed an animal for food? No, that... never. Have you ever killed an animal for for to eat? Yeah. On, I've tried to eat an escargot when we were little, but it was a challenge. I tried to um, taste a snail when I was a kid, but it was a, just a <laughs> That again. Yeah, but you have to cook it with butter. That that's what really makes it taste good. <laughs> right. and, and yeah. garlic and and parsley. Yeah. Yeah. So in the movie, the chicken kind of became Linda's pet until it wasn't. Uh, have you ever had like a strange pet? Le 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 poulet est comme un animal domestique pour Linda jusqu'à ce qu'il ne le devienne plus, jusqu'à ce qu'il soit tué. Est-ce que vous avez déjà eu un animal domestique un peu bizarre, étrange? Mais le poulet n'est pas du tout un animal domestique animal pour Linda. Non, alors, un pet pour elle. <rire> elle veut le manger depuis le début. Elle veut le manger depuis le début. Le fait, quand le film commence, il faut dire que le poulet est déjà mort. Parce qu'on commence avec une assiette de poulet au poivron. Le film commence comme ça. Quand le film commence, le chicken est déjà mort. Parce que nous commençons avec le dish de poulet au poivron. Ça fait sens. Ça fait sens. Um, so the film also has a strike that is affecting a lot of what is going on. Have either of you ever been on strike? Oh, il y a la grève. Est-ce que vous avez déjà été en grève? Yes, and we, we live in France, you know. We live in France. We have a lot of strikes and demonstrations. Uh, it's good to stand up for, for your rights. That, that is an important thing. So <laughs> yeah. it's good that you're you are exercising that. And but it's another way to tell about uh, to speak about injustice and mm -hmm. uh, unfairness. So there, are, uh, there is the Linda's injustice at the beginning of the movie, but there is also this strike, and it's the adult uh, injustice. Yeah, exactly. And then both of them are important injustices to to rectify. Mm -hmm. uh, the film also has uh, Linda or uh, Paulette's car being searched. Have you ever had your car searched? On a déjà fouillé votre voiture comme les policiers fouillent la voiture de Paulette. I don't think so. I don't remember. No. No. Good. Excellent. No. <laughs> Both law-abiding people. Uh, next question. We had a, we had a, a stolen car. Uh, oh, someone no. stole, steal our car. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. That's horrible. Yeah. That's, that's, c'est la vie. Such as, um, Paulette also ends up in handcuffs for a long lot of the movie. Uh, have you either of you ever been in handcuffs? No. Excellent. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason why we make movies to to feel uh, to the experience yes. that we probably never feel in the future. Well, oh. jamais. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Unless it's a good reason. Unless, you know, like Paula, it's a good reason for having her be in handcuffs. She had to go help Linda. So, mm. um, and the, the last question is, what was the last time that you had chicken? C'est quand uh, la dernière fois du poulet? Je vais en faire ce soir, moi. I'm going to eat it tonight. Perfect. And it, for me, it was yesterday. So, we, we like chicken. Yeah, it's it's a it's a great meat. It's a great meat. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, so the film is coming out in America in April. You are out promoting it, getting the word out. But uh, I imagine you have other projects in mind. After people see Chicken for Linda, what can they look next for you? What the either animated or live action? What is your next project? Io non direi nulla di nulla su questa cosa. Vestizione. Pardon, cash. Et que je suis en train de, de, de travailler, moi et Sébastien, sur des nouveaux films, mais moi je suis italienne et donc très superstitieuse. Jamais de la vie, je vais dire. Donc, ils sont en train de travailler sur d'autres films, mais Chiara dit que je suis italienne et donc je suis très superstitieuse. Nous ne parlons pas de ça. Oui. C'est très compréhensible. C'est très compréhensible. Mais si c'est quelque chose comme ça, j'imagine que ce sera une visuelle, une belle masterpiece avec beaucoup de part. One can hope. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Thank you. Fingers so, crossed. 
So thank you so much for your time. Uh, again, this is Sebastian Ladenbach and Chiara Malta, the writers and directors of Chicken for Linda. It is coming to America in April in select theaters, first in New York, and then expanding nationwide. Um, if you have it near you, you should definitely check it out. It is just a beautiful, striking film with, as you heard, lots of kind of underlying messages and a lot of heart. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was Sebastian Ladenbach and Chiara Malta, the writers and directors of Chicken for Linda, which is coming to theaters in America throughout April and first coming to New York on April 5th, 2024. It is a colorful, imaginative, animated feature that has a ton of heart, an interesting plight, and just this wonderful, wonderful style. If you liked this interview, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. Make sure all my new content goes straight to you. Thank you.